Welcome back to F-Zero GP Legend. I'll be continuing along with story mode on today's episode, and I am pleased to inform you that the rest of the story mode characters have no alternate paths or confusing alternate stage conditions or whatnot. It's just a straight hallway for the rest of the game, which actually makes me very sad. What also makes me sad is that they use the Super Nintendo version's uh, silence theme there, but then they switch immediately to the F-Zero X version, which... It's not really all that bad, but, you know, why did you put that theme there if you weren't going to use it for the rest of the cutscene? Yes, we are playing as the original F-Zero heroine, Jody Summer, who has come to the Silence Grand Prix in order to stop well-known criminal Michael Chain from winning any Grand Prix money. Three, this, two, would, this would be one, an admirable effort if they didn't just stop criminals from entering the Grand Prix in the first place. Like, seriously, you let Black Shadow and Soda into the, some of these races? What is wrong with you, F-Zero Committee? <laughs> Anyways, Jody's machine is called the White Cat, and it is by far the machine with the best grip in the game. You almost never need to blast turn. It never slides. In fact, the only way this thing could possibly have any bad speed whatsoever turning whatsoever is if you were on ice and it is and with a boost you can just barely make that shortcut of this course yeah, you're gonna land on the guardrail if you try to make that jump but you know still it's a pretty nice shortcut the only bad thing really about the white cat is that its speed is low you can see that with a boost it just barely makes that jump so while this is a good machine for the beginning racer and I say that even though you have to actually beat Story Mode in order to unlock it for the Grand Prix. You are going to want to look at other machines and like actually try out all them. And that is not something you want to do on this course. I mistakenly thought a jump plate was going to be there. Final lap. That's the only issue I have with Silent's box ring is that those walls can sort of trip you up slightly, but still. And that is it for Box Rink. Pretty easy to take first place because the shortcut, it wouldn't be that difficult without the shortcut. Like, just in case you were wondering. I'm gonna break the courses just be because I can, to be honest. Hey, more money that does nothing. Yeah, stole the victory. You know what? He's absolutely right. Absolutely right. I stole the victory from you. Hooray, you've heard about us. Now what? So that's why she was chasing after Blood Falcon. Well, I wouldn't see if there's a secret to his death. And presumably Michael Chain gets away, so... We're left to our own devices now. On to Port Town, because apparently that's where all... Where you can find all, any and all information you want. Why go to Port Town? Also, I like this shot of her. It gives us a very nice view of her chest. <clears throat> no, Blood Falcon didn't kill him, Jody. You saw him die. I think. You know, this is like where they... I don't think the game was written, like, to coincide with the TV show, but, you know, I know the plot of the TV show. Jody should have saw her brother die. Oh, then you're really gonna hate what happens in the next race, Blood Falcon. Now, it says here that we entered the race illegally. Yeah. Why would you enter the race illegally if you... 
This is starting to look like a bad Pokemon fanfic. Solve all of your problems with a battle, or in this case, a race. And don't shove me off the... Oh, ouch. That wasn't pleasant. I took a lot of damage just from slamming into the machines there. Darn shame I'm going to pass Blood Falcon, and that's never going to happen again for the entire race. You can see that Forked Road, the course we're on, has, well, Forked Roads. And I believe I took the inner path every time, on every lap. Because it does appear to be shorter, even though the outer path has, I believe, a pit area. Yeah, I, actually, I can see the pit area from the other path, so that's nice. Of course, everyone behind me is not going to catch up, so maybe I should, uh... You know, the, it looks like the inner path there is faster, no matter how you go about... ...driving through it. it it's like the split path from Outer Space Meteor Stream from GX. You know? Oh, hey, the outer... the longer path has a... ...pit area. But the short path is shorter overall, so what are you going to do? Force Design 101. You got a new booster. Also, I wish I could shut the announcer up. Oh, I barely missed the dash plate there. It looks like I was about to plummet, like right past that jump plate, but we're safe. You won first place! Triple sevens in the third lap time. <laughs> Cutscene does not accurately represent the actual race events. <laughs> Last second thing. So apparently we didn't enter that race illegally after all. We were just a late entrant. Okay. Now what are we doing? I love this stage. It's even more hilarious than the last one. That's the gimmick for this course. If Blood Falcon gets too far ahead of you, you lose him and, and you lose the stage. So what are we going to do? We're gonna boost ahead of him, very, very far ahead of him. Yeah. This is tailing, ladies and gentlemen. Get ahead of your target. Yeah, you know, I'm never gonna get over this. I'm never gonna get how over how absurdly low the difficulty in these stages are. Oh, and this course is the exact same course that Rick Wheeler ran in his fourth stage. Beautiful, isn't it? Go! Great! Took Jody a couple more seconds than he did, though. Because the machine's not as fast. Place. Worth every penny, am I right? Gee, I wonder why he led you in there, Jody. To run you over, of course. Of course, he doesn't exactly show us what he's going to do. I guess... Oh, she's still in her machine, okay. Suddenly, Rick Wheeler. Dodge him. <laughs> That's your advice? You're telling me to dodge him? <laughs> okay, Rick, you deserve your slap for that, and here it comes. Ha! Ah, worst advice ever. That is most definitely worth a slap. 
And this is the exact same cutscene as before. Yes, 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 we know. What does the next stage have in store for us? One of few appearances by Dr. Stewart in this game. Darn shame he doesn't have his own story mode, but I guess what story would there be to tell? Oh, so they're all going to race together, huh? You know, I'm actually legitimately interested. I'm actually legitimately interested in this, and I'm going to slow down for the first lap so I can actually see who's competing Three, here. Two, Let's see three, we got Joey, Dr. Stewart. Another machine's going to pull ahead of me here. Come on. Oh, that's that's Jack Levin and Mr. EAD, and who's bringing up the rear? Come on, show me. Oh! I know whose machine that is. That's John Tanaka. Four laps to go. You got okay. Loser. So apparently the entire platoon is competing aside from Lucy Liberty. Who's not, who is in this game. Her machine is in this game, but she's not in this stage. I don't you got really loser. see Three why. Go. Oh, I know why. There's a funny story about a couple of machines in the game, which I will probably get to if when I actually use them. But, uh, let's just say you can unlock them normally in this version, but in Japan, it's a whole other story. This isn't a particularly difficult course, it's like... In fact, this is the first course of the Grand Prix, it's not... It, it looks exactly like... You know, it's a little different, but it looks almost exactly like Mute City 1 from Super Nintendo F-Zero. Huh. Go figure. Like, it's not exactly the same, but it kind of feels like it. I suppose that's the feel they were going for with this course. It's not difficult at all. Congratulations! One first place. Also worth every. <laughs> okay, according to the game, stage three was harder than stage four, if the earnings from that race were to be believed. And what happened to John Tanaka's machine? It wasn't in that cutscene. Oh well. They did not break at the end. I was so far ahead of them, they did not break at the end. Like, no! <sighs> Why would they even do that? Aren't you Captain Falcon? Somebody said it again. Ah, so this explains Captain Falcon's fit, uh, stage X. So apparently the next Grand Prix is in Sand Ocean. I can handle that. Oh, this is exactly the same cutscene as before. If you lose, you'll lose an F-Zero race, and that is the worst outcome of all. Losing a race. That would be so embarrassing. Am I right? Ah, so, no need to deal with, uh, manipulating a certain racer into winning here. You just have to straight up win the race. Three, two, one, fire. 
of course, that's very easy because I because this course has a shortcut, and they are actively encouraging this course's shortcuts. Like, I didn't show it in Captain Falcon's version of the stage because I was supposed to let Jody win, but now that I'm actually playing as Jody, they can show off how broken this course really is. First, I have to get in first. Pay close attention because this is a legit lap you're seeing. <laughs> Four laps to go. You got a new booster. Okay, passed him. Had to pass pass good old Doctor Stewart here. Why is he in this race? Who was it in that cutscene? Oh well. So this jump right here. Very nice. You can also take another jump and land right in front of the finish line if you're good, but I don't think the white cat has enough ju jumping height in order to make that. Or enough speed, either. Nope, definitely not. If you can't make that shortcut, you can't make this one. You see that jump plate off to the right of where I landed? That's the one I'm talking about. Now, when I mentioned that the game is actively encouraging shortcuts, yeah, it, it's really, um, oh, I, but I messed up here, gotta try not to let that thing on the floor push you into the wall there, because that can't, and that can't happen, so you've gotta watch for that, but other than that, I really have to apologize for how boring this is because there appear to be no other racers because I'm so far ahead. I'm actually, I am actually legitimately wishing the computer cheated just like in F Zero on the Super Nintendo and in Maximum Velocity. And they, and they don't even cheat in Maximum Velocity. You just can't boost as much as I am. Whoa, it's as if the computer can't even boost. One first place. I don't get why this shouldn't... This game feels rushed. I really have to reiterate that. It's like, this came out the same year as GX, so that's the vibe I am getting there, and of course, Blood Falcon gets away anyways. I'll be back. That's his last appearance in story mode entirely, by the way. I think he might show up in Jack's story, but that's it. But that's pretty much it for him. I still don't know what's up with this shoulder there. It was you again, wasn't it, Jack? You did. Something! He did something, apparently.